What's up guys? Welcome back to Scarborough Fishing. Today we're going to go out and get some white bass. Let's see if we can go back to the end of these creeks and see what we can find uh, just off of Lake Barkley. Just put in my little boat. As you can see, I got the trolling motor just behind me, so I'm literally sitting down on my little deck. And uh, yeah, about to put the seat up. I'm about to head out, see what we can get. What's up guys? Uh, real quick, while trying to get back to these creeks, I ended up finding this small little ledge right over here. Looks like there might have been some uh, fish on there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and, and grab a drop shot over here. And I'll show you what I'm going to use as soon as I get this bag open. I'm using the Plano 3700 zip bag. It's a little cold this morning. There it goes. And I'm going to end up using the Robo Worm Margarita Mutilator. Um, and I'm going to get pushed back up against the bank, but that's okay. Let's go ahead get one of these rig it on I'm using my uh, standard little crappie pole crappie max a little 200 spin rod at the end of it I got about a I'd say that's about a six inch lead on there all I'm gonna do is push this through the hook push this through the nose of the bait a little mosquito hook wacky hook from six cents push it right there through the nose There you go. So what I want to sit there and drag across here real quick, easy, gentle. As soon as I unspin this thing real quick, there we go. Now um, out here, the water temperature is about 28, 29 degrees. Or not the water temperature. The air temperature is 28, 29 degrees. The water temperature is an astonishing 42. I didn't think it would be that high. I thought it would be more in the high 30s, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and drop this thing out. Let's go. end up using this a lot like uh, an ed bait kind of slowly dragging it across the bottom I'm using a quarter ounce cylinder drop shot weight easy 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 throw a bunch of structure back here there it is Slowly, slowly. Remember, right now, especially at like doing 43 degrees, especially 43 degrees, and go slow, slow, slow. No 40s, high 30s, low 40s, go slow. On this drop shot, I'm using a 30 pound braided to an 8 pound leader with a quarter ounce drop shot weight. You just let that thing sit there. I mean, it just looks good in the water. Let's try this little bit of structure over here. There we go. There we go. That's right where I wanted it. I got placed just beyond far side of that structure. So slowly drag it back through there. This blade bait, I'm using a Demiki Volt or the Arid X pole because it's just a little more uh, parabolic than uh, some of the other poles, especially the fact it's uh, the lower model with the uh, Daiwa. So Arid X does pretty well. It's a seven foot three, uh, medium heavy. Um, it says fast, fast action, but uh, compared to Shimano, it's not as fast as what it is. Uh, it, it bends more further down the plank than what it does. So. Let's see, where is it? Where's it up at? So I like to use this mainly for treble hooks where my Shimano, I like to use more for jig hooks. When I'm doing blade bait, I'll go from nine up, just wait. And then wait. Now, on this fall, you can either do 
go from nine up and let it parabolic or do like Mike Iaconelli said up didn't have any caught a leaf told you there was some structure over here look at that first catch of the day right there a leaf absolutely beautiful that's a beautiful leaf I'm telling you yeah usually if you quit filling that vibrate there's something going on you can bomb this thing out there Let it sink down to the bottom. Get a little bit of tension. And flip. A little bit of tension. Flip. Now, I'm sitting right here, right off the main portion of uh, the Cumberland on Barkley. Right out of Creek Mouth. Let's pull down, so. Like I was saying earlier, Mike Iaconelli said, if you take it, go and fall with it. It doesn't give it such a parabolic where it just goes forward and it falls one way or the other. Here we go, boys. White bass. There we are, boys. Told you. Look at that. Come down there. You ain't good and take it. Let to make your vault. Come baby. There we are, fellas. White bass, Dominky Volt. Uh, cold water hits, they can't stand it. Using simple little trees like that. Ah, that's right. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Pound, pound five ounces. Gonna go in the live well. Let's catch another one, baby. There she goes. All right. So that was the first one of the day. Hit right off the bat. I mean, I would pull up. She, she just smoked it. She had it in her mouth before I ever even pulled up. Oh yeah. So we know where they're at. I can see them on the scope. They came up closer. She reached down right away. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh yeah. All right, now let me show you real quick. You can see, right there, right at the end, there they are. Sit down through there. They keep moving on me because I'm got i anchored down. Let me show you where I'm at and why I chose this spot. So if you look, I got a point. I got another point. So that's two points right next to each other with a river mouth. From this point all the way over here is another point it's about four foot on the other side and drops off to about ten nine to ten feet on average and it continues on all the way over into this section and it starts to get to eight feet you go about 15 20 yards it gets to be about seven feet so on and so forth and keeps going between seven feet and ten feet all the, all the way back 
and I have another little point. So I have multiple creek mouths around through here where I could pick from, but mainly I've been choosing um, one right over here. So this is Lake Barkley, like I said. Right back over and through there is the uh, main Cumberland River that heads around through here just before it gets to Kentucky. So I got a little bit more time. I'm gonna try a little bit longer, see if we can get more uh, white bass. But right now I parked right in the middle and got a few here and there. So we're gonna see if we can pick them up real quick before we head home.